<laughs> Door open. Creak. <laughs> Huge laugh. That's the end. Huge laugh. Huge laugh. One compliment. Kidding. <laughs> Stand up comedy. How many of the comedy greats got their start, but also how a lot of people found out that they're not funny. Now usually when you're faced with this harsh realization, you're at a small comedy club with a handful of people, and nobody remembers it the next day. However, this is not the case for everybody. Take Megan Stalter, for example, who recently released what might just be the worst comedy special ever on HBO Max. I am not exaggerating when I say the audience is uncomfortable from the moment she walks out. Not a single joke lands during this entire 16-minute special, and it is not easy to watch. So get ready. It's gonna be a rough one. Please subscribe. Zoom in. <laughs> Zoom in. Okay, right off the bat, I think this is the downfall of her performance. It's like her routine isn't based off jokes. It's based off telling the cameraman to do something. She does it a lot, and it gets more uncomfortable every time. <laughs> Hi! Hey guys! Oh my god, everyone's here! Casey! <laughs> oh my god, you came! Barnes & Noble! <laughs> Get a shot at Barnes & Noble! <laughs> No, that's not funny. Cut that. Oh my god, it's only like 30 seconds and it's so bad already. You have to start with your jokes. This is the kind of stuff that might be funny once people already know you're funny. But if you come out and try to prove that you're humorous by doing this, even if you are funny for the rest of the show, it won't feel like it. Um, and by the way, you guys are on camera. Get comfortable. Don't talk into the mic, though. Don't talk into the mic. Where are you from? No, I'm kidding. Um... Okay, and now I'm getting on stage. Guys, I'm so excited to be here at H <coughs> HBO. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited to be here for a at HBO Human, Human Pride by Orientation. Let me hey, thanks for, guys, I told you not to come. Oh my god, okay, it seems like I might be doing some skipping around. Because it appears that she likes to stick with a bit for quite some time, and uh, I am not going to subject myself to that. I have standards now. I literally did. Sorry, that's my ex. Um, so thank you guys so much for coming to H HBO Max Human by Orientation and Pride. <laughs> no, I actually haven't. I've felt before, but I haven't fully. Um, no, I, so I'm bisexual. Wait, let's just redo that. When I say I'm bisexual, I would love it if you got up in the air and just was, if you stood up and then you said, oh my God. <laughs> If I was this guy, I think I would be considering sending a full sprint off the side of this building. It can't be too high, right? Either way, I'd think I'd rather a few broken bones than having to participate in this performance. Yes! And then if the other person at the table could go, sit down. And then you could look at them and just be like, literally, I did nothing wrong. I'm supporting her. And then you, and then you go, how do you even know it's a her? She hasn't said her pronouns yet. Okay. So I'm Megan Salter. I'm bisexual. You seem sarcastic, so we're just gonna move on. Um, that, I mean, that was weird, right? Audience interaction is a good thing, but she is killing her show by doing this. She actually had some pretty good comedic timing with the that was sarcastic comment, and you could tell it kind of eased the audience and made them a little bit less uncomfortable, but then she went straight back into sprinting up to audience members, sticking a microphone in their face. Oh um, no, I actually, I, I'm so excited to be here tonight. Ah! Um, uh, I just, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, where do you guys know me from? Hacks. Don't say hacks. Any, anyway, anyway, I, I'm excited about performing. I'm excited about, ooh, I actually look really gorgeous right now with the hair in the wind. Um. Not a single joke has been told. There hasn't been a story. There's been no build up to anything. She's quite literally said the same two or three things over and over again. HBO Max is a, you know, pretty, pretty big streaming company. Pretty big media company. Did they not even like interview this woman? Was this just like a lottery? Did they just choose a name out of a hat? Um, no, I got, I got, I'm, I'm really talented and I kind of dis just discovered that, you know, I discovered a lot in the quarantine of how good I am at singing. <sighs> oh, I'm waking up right now. 
I just can't tell if the camera can get me from this angle. <sighs> oh my God, what's that sound? Knock, knock, knock. Who the heck's at my door? <sighs> at this hour? It's 401. I better go see who it is. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. Still don't forget my stairs. <laughs> door open. <laughs> oh my god. Her ex boyfriend's there, even though they just hooked up. How has nobody left yet? I want to leave the room and I'm not even there. I've been taking periodic breaks in order not to lose my mind. I refuse to believe that this was rehearsed. There's no way anybody at HBO saw this and approved it. She must have won like a comedy sweepstakes. It's okay that it's quiet, like it's not supposed to be funny. During quarantine, I actually wrote a book. Let's try that again and you guys scream really loud. Just one person said yes. <laughs> Little Miss Water Table, you gotta scream, okay? So I wrote a book, wait, and I kinda wanted to say it right into the camera if that's okay. Guys, I'm starting to lose my grip on reality. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Right now I wanna read a book that I'm working on right now called Stupid Stinky Love. <laughs> that's a funny title! Oh, would we get that? Chapter six, what's that smell? Was that you? What if this was two hours long? Uh, Megan, it, it feels like it is. So, uh, you got that going for you. It's like she wrote down as many ideas as possible that would make this performance as terrible as it possibly could be. Like, really? Acting out a play? Now you're reading your own book? Are we serious, Megan? But picture this. If someone smelled like duty while you were performing Congolianus, don't you think you'd notice? Yeah. I think you could, would. Is this her genius book idea? Does she think people are gonna read this and have an epiphany? I think most people realize that oral sex is not very enjoyable if one of the parties smells like poo-poo. I don't need a book to tell me that. No, I do want to take a minute and do something that I've been missing a lot. Um, what if I started making out with you? <laughs> uh, what I, w I do want to tell you guys, I want to end on this. No, please don't go! I'm gonna tell you guys now tips to go into a party. Every time I think it can't get any worse, she does something like that. I would have walked off the stage 15 minutes ago. I don't know if the fact that she's still trying is worrying or impressive. John Dahl, John Dace, John Dace, John Dace. Veronica, I love your finger foods but I'd rather be fingered instead. Huge laugh, that's the end. Huge laugh. Huge laugh. One compliment. Kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the end of my set. Thank you so much, guys. I don't think I've ever been so thankful that a video is over. I don't really think there's anything left to say. I think the video pretty much spoke for itself, so, uh... Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.